Since Mobileye began using AI 25 years ago to transform how we drive, we've seen six major AI revolutions, with the latest being what's called the Age of Transformers. Uh, I think you're in the wrong movie. Moving on. These Transformers train on massive amounts of data, seemingly magically understanding things, and... And they can even answer questions and respond in natural, human-like language. Yep. Just like everyone's favorite virtual best friend, ChatGPT. Chatting with ChatGPT is fun. In fact, I asked ChatGPT to make this presentation funny, so it added a joke. Why did the robot go on a diet? Why? Because it had too many bites. <laughs> okay. Look, it's learning. Transformer-based AI didn't just stop at reading and writing. Quickly, it also became possible to interpret images, tokenizing visuals into words, and building a comprehensive understanding of the world around it from images. And now we have AI powering a bunch of different industries, and you guessed it, autonomous driving is no exception. So, we're good to go? After all, all the research seemed to point to the idea that more data equals better results. Each new version, because of all this data, seemed to dramatically improve outcomes. And this got everyone really excited, understandably. Naturally, we assumed data and AI would drive autonomous mobility. Meaning, inputting all the data from a combination of sensors, an endless unsupervised data pipeline would accelerate autonomous driving big time, right? Well, not exactly. These monoliths do have amazing results, but you know how everything has limits? Eventually, they might hit a ceiling, taper off, and begin to show what is known as diminishing returns. What I am saying is, there might be a point where more and more data, unfortunately, will not solve all of our problems. We cannot just plug in AI and expect a high mean time between failures, AKA a totally safe and reliable AV that operates almost without a single issue. So it's not just about the amount of data, it's about how you use it. Remember ChatGPT? Ask it to do long multiplication, and you'll quickly discover that large language models aren't particularly good at multiplying big numbers. Weird, right? I mean, it can come up with some cute jokes, but it can't handle a task as simple as arithmetic that even a basic calculator can do. But here's the genius part. It doesn't have to be like that. Instead, it uses a different tool, a more suitable tool. In this case, a snippet of Python code to handle the calculation. So it's about knowing how to use the right tools to solve the specific problem. This shows the power of combining different types of AI for different tasks. And that is exactly what we are doing here at Mobileye. Transformer-based models can be compared to a monolithic hammer. Powerful, but not suitable for every nail. By combining transformer-based models with purpose-built systems, we're using a cohesive approach comprised of different tools called Compound AI that's designed to handle all sorts of situations seamlessly. With Compound AI, we're building a driving experience that addresses those hard-to-reach corners that are critical for safety, solving these challenges in order to reach a high standard of mean time between failures for autonomous driving. So yes, everyone is talking about AI constantly, in every room, around every table, and in every industry. But here at Mobileye with Compound AI, we don't rely on one single ingredient. We use a diverse set of tools, capabilities, and methods to match the right solution to the specific problem. That's our philosophy.